Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Borderlands 2. So, last time we left off we were fighting the Salad Men, and here we are, back in the back burner. And now we had to head to the burrows, but Moxie has her bar set up now. Alright Moxie, do you do your thing? Oh, I miss my bar. The thought of that thorny prick Hector drinking all my booze? Now that's a damn tragedy. Hey sugar, I've got something important for you. In case you didn't know my son Scooter, he... Well, he died recently. He went out the way I always saw him. As a hero. I've said my own goodbyes. But before we rushed off Sanctuary, I found an echo in Scooter's things. Says it's for you, Vault Hunter. Oh no. Got your name on it. Misspelled, obviously. Space Cowboy. Oh, Space Cowboy. Hey, Vault Hunter. In the highly likely event that I got deadened by like a dinosaur or a big explosion or something, I uh, here's to by name you, the executioner of my last William Bestment. Oh, my sweet dumb boy. Okay. First off, collect. All my best girly mags for posteriority. Once you get all them skin rags, you make sure and find them a good home, okay? Oh, man. Scooter, this one's for you, man. We're gonna go find your stuff. You actually brought an infected soldier back to camp. Man, I keep thinking you mind the idiot shaft dry. Then you go and strike a big old vein of dumbass. <sighs> He'll get his soon enough. Focus on Helios. All right. So these tunnels are sacred bandit territory. And I am totally breaking the bandit code by telling you how to get in. But anybody who can tell him he's already dead. So just bust down the electrified gate and you're in. The sandworms definitely won't escape, probably. Sandworms? Excuse me? Did I hear sandworms? I want everything you got! Chess World was definitely one of my favorite straining manuals. I mean, shoot, I never did meet a bustier. I didn't like Mama taught me that word. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mordecai, honey, Scooter asked us to find a home for his, uh, wag mags. You interested? Oh, wow. Uh, that's... I, I really couldn't accept such a generous offer. Warning, you are now. Oh, that's what that is. Just tell me I'm almost out of bounds. Okay. I was like, is that an auto turret? I was like, why well, is it not taking any damage? But that explains that. Well, we found the first <laughs> Omag. Alright. The first adult entertainment magazine. Sorry, because I can't say that other word. I'm not even monetized, and YouTube would demonetize me. So let's go find the other one. Oh, it's right here actually. Rax and Rax is the premier quarterly for those interested in hot babes holding on to scary birds. Kind of a particular demographic, but I don't really got anybody to on them. Wow. All right, Scooter. I respect it. Wasn't about to harsh on anyone's vibe. I get you, I get you. I just got chopped in half. Alright, Scoots, where's your magazine at? Is it in here? I mean, I guess. I know Sirens Call ain't got real pictures of real Sirens, but uh... That old fat bitch and still gets the job done. Nah. Hey, Vaughn. Any chance you're looking for some lightly used girly mags? 
Aw, oh, gee, gosh, that's a real nice offer, but, um, uh, no? Bend it live! Well, waste not, I guess. Just bring them back to me and I'll hold on to them for now. Now this time, I'ma predict that y'all took a quick boomer break in the Dookie Hut. Like right now, right when you're listening to this. Enjoy that, Duke, y'all! <laughs> Scooter, we will miss you. I hope they find a way to somehow let you be in Borderlands 3. I don't care. Because I refuse. I, I just refuse. We need to have our Scooter back. How, how would you have a game of Borderlands without him? Like, you can't have... Like, the catch -a ride system without him. It, it feels too different. I don't like it. Get catch a ride to Ellie. Well, hey there, cutie pie. What's this all about? Ellie, Scooter wants you to run the catch a ride. Oh, dang. I knew this day was coming. It was nice just to hear his voice coming out of those janky ass speakers, but I'll do it. Ellie, if you're listening to this, it means I've become a super ghost on that big racetrack in the sky. <laughs> Driving ghost cars around the sun and shit. Sorry, sis. I'm sure you're real sad and all, but you gotta keep them runners running for me, okay? Bye bye, Scoot. And thank you. Well, guess we better record some new lines for the catch ride, huh? This is where the cars land. Get you one. Huh. I don't feel right aping his catchphrases like that. Tell you what, give me some time and I'll come up with some new ones. All right, looks like the transfer is complete. Why don't you give it a whirl? Get you a big, beautiful war machine right here, y'all. Catch a ride. Thanks, Vault Hunter. Let's see what else Scooter wanted you to do. And finally, whence fifth I depart from this mortal plane, do me the honor of reverently laying down a totally righteous memorial in my name. Then do a sick ass booster jump over that thing. Wow! I've actually been working on a little something at his final rest and place slash impact crater. Why don't you meet me on out there and see what I whipped up? Oh wow, he has a memorial out here? Whoops. Alright. Let's go see what's over there. Now I'm sure you done gone and passed out from dehydration on account of crying over me, but don't you worry. I'll live my life exactly the way I want it to. Even when, no, especially when folks told me not to. Rules is for fools. I made that up just now. I'm a genius. Death ain't holding back my brilliant mind. If I don't fall down these stairs, it'd be great. Yeah, I know. It's pretty awesome. But I think it needs just Welcome one to the final touch, don't you? you look better I can decide ridge. between righteous flames of furious fury or sick ass danger arcs of electric badassery. Do whatever you think is right, Paul Hunt. Ooh. Electrify it or set it on fire. I like fire more. I'm a pyro. <gasps> Let's do it. 
Hey, I gotta change the skin color. I gotta make it look good. This is the last jump, boy. You handy cane. I like it. Scooter, this one's for you, buddy. Oh my god, that thing says see you space cowboy. Oh right in the fields. Oh man. trouble than it's worth they abandoned the planet and left all their people behind holy crap sickles that was amazing scooter would be so happy if he could have seen that righteous badassery you did right by him thanks vh i know scooter wasn't exactly everyone's cup of tea but he was a good man and that's one hell of a rare thing on pandora it would have meant a lot to Scooter that you did all this. It did to me. Thank you, Vault Hunter. And for my finalist of final words, I just want to say thanks. I always wanted to be a Vault Hunter, but never really had the stuff for it. Y'all gave me a cause worth fighting for and made me feel like family. And since we all family now, Y'all gotta look out for my best girls, Ellie and Moxie, okay? And as for me, I gotta catch me a ride to heaven, y'all. <clears throat> the feels. <sighs> Nothing attracts members of whatever sex fancy like a few tons of hot. I'm actually really sad that Scooter's gone. Like... <sighs> Very well, they're dead. Scooter to me was like... A really... Fun and interesting character to have in Borderlands. What? What am I supposed to melee? This? No? Oh, this? Let's say I sound like a bad idea, but okay. Oh, and tell the sandworms I said. <laughs> They'll know. All right, but you know, uh, he felt like a much more. Uh, how would I word this? Like more vibrant character on Pandora than someone like, let's say, Roland. My hypothesis was correct. Hector is using your vault key to mass produce the gas. Soon he will have enough to blanket all of Pandora to create his paradise. But everyone on Pandora will die in the process. He's really got our test tubes in a centrifuge. Oh, so you got that video I sent then. Waiting on the reply. <sighs> what Hannes. the hell do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I've already won. Here's how this ends. Me presiding over paradise, you twisting your mutated limbs into a knot and dying alone like a sad pretzel. Point, Hector. Huh. Huh. I don't know what these necrophages do, but I don't want to know. You are the sandworms they were talking about. Sucker. This is not the movie Dunes, thank you. I'm good. Sucker. Nope. Now, the question is which way am I supposed to go? Forward it is. Huh. Alright, now that we got those guys out of the huh. way. Over here. 
Hmm. Looks like this might be the way I need to go. Oh, but there's a thing there. Where's this going? There. Over there. Leading back inside the cage? I need to go that way. Alright, so let's go. Let's go figure out where that is. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe. It's... By going up here. Brick! Crushing it. Literally. Bricky boy. Sounds a little different. Maybe they changed out his voice actor. I don't think they did. I know they changed out clap traps. But uh I don't know if they did anything for Brick. Burn. Push on, boys. How do I disable this? Oh, is there a battery pack back here somewhere? Aha! One shot. Alright, so now I gotta go to the other one and do the same thing.
we go. That takes care of all those guys. And Brick is finishing off these guys. And we're good. That's it, right? Area's clear. No? There. Now the area's clear. Let's turn in the mission. Alright. Let's show these pricks whose planet this is! That sounds like the brick I know. Let's go, brick. Hmm. Timber! <laughs> ah, I see. Helios fallen, huh? All right, let's blaze through this place real quick, and then I think that'll be the end of the episode for today. Two chapters is a pretty good pace to move at. All right, time to wreak vengeance on the loader bots that Hector hacked to murder most of my clan. There's more important things at stake, Bandit. We need that moonshot cannon to clear the way to Cassius. He's our only hope of curing Mordecai. Of course, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll give you a ton of cash if you also wait my vengeance. I'm probably gonna do both, so. Back up, dude. Oh, hi. Howdy. There we go. I wanted to go over here first. He lives over here. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. I see. I see. Go down here. Ow, flowers. You're dead. Y'all can't snipe the sniper. It don't work that way. Illegal. I want to get up there, but I guess not. I ask you guys kindly to not. Thank you. Say, did anyone stop for a second to think about Hector's plan? Dude hijacks your ship to spread a mutated spore seed whatever gas to make Pandora paradise. I mean, it's pretty righteous. <laughs> it's righteous Focus, until huh? people die. Focus. Moonshot cannon, get it working. Blow open the door to the mine. So, does anyone actually know how to use this thing? We've got to blow open that door. We wait, used it once. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> hold up, hold up. You go to fire the biggest can on the whole muckabuckin planet, and you didn't call me? I am a friend. Tina, it's, it's a war zone between us and Helios. I'm not putting you in danger. Lily, girl, I hear you, but I'm your demolitions expert. And now the Vault Hunter is inside, and you can bamf me in to help out with the mission, and I want it so bad, please! It's probably my birthday! It takes a lot out of me to teleport anything besides myself. It's not as easy as... <laughs> please! I want to use a big space gun! It's all I've ever wanted! <sighs> Fine. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna just kill these letters because I'm here anyway. You're almost to the moonshot control room. I took my bandit out there with my right hand on a Hyperion account ledger and my left hand on a still beating Skag Heart. Man, I can stress eat some Skag Hearts right about now. 
I could stress eat some skag hearts right about now. Quite possibly the strangest phrase I've ever heard. <laughs> Bombs away. Hi, Tina. Yeah, I hope this was worth it. I'm just gonna rest here for a sec. You take care of the moonshot. Lily, uh, listen up. Class in session. This is Ballistics 101, and I am Professor Boo. First lesson. Those regular moonshot shells ain't gonna do shit against big old metal doors. We need that good, good armor penetration. So, whilst I start constructing the missile, your homework is to get the explosivos that are going inside. Class dismissed! Alright, let's do it. What? Oh, it's one of these. AKA Explosivos, AKA that good boom stuff, AKA Splody Splody Hurt Box. Now you're a lovesick aristocrat who pines for the hand of Contessa Aorta Hartsworth. I shall play the part of the Celestial Imp, Cherubian. If my love arrows are to fly true, you must purloin two stabilizer fins. For when I shoot her. What? This gun missile gonna have wings like a, like a big dragon. Love is in the air. Return for taste. Gonna kill these stupid constructors or loaders. Oh, ow! Okay, note to self: shooting him from behind is a great idea if you want to get yourself killed. Oh wait, there's something over here. There's more stuff. Oh, there's something in that room over there, and I can't get to it. Hmm. She made a little dragon. Is it the Bunkers and Badasses dragon? Yeah, it is. Careful! Careful! Now slap them wings on there. Contessa Aorta is gonna be swooning over your badonk in no time. Oh, do I have a boss fight? Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Uranus. Saturn's ugly brother. Goodbye. Read it too, Tina. Thanks. Pull the power core out of Uranus. So done with you, Tina. Back to me, Vaulty Vault. I'm so done with you, Tina. I'm so done. I'm, I'm done. 
I both love you and hate you, Tina. That was the... Ooh. A legendary Mechromancer. I'll take that one. I actually have a Mechromancer. Anything good? No, 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 no. Okay, bye. I must kill two more Hackbloater bots. You do it, Tina. You do it, Tina. What? The big dragon and the little dragon. There they go. Oh, I gotta follow <clears throat> Tina. That's right. You don't think Tannis would really try to make us a plant monster army, do you? Who am I kidding? Of course she would. Tina, would you like to do the honors? No? Fire. What in the hell is going on down there? God damn it. Nice. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Good work, everyone. The way up to the lab is clear. Cash has better come through for us. That was it, boys. Got a few things to take care of here. Head back to camp and check on Mordecai. All right, we're gonna leave the episode off here, guys. Anchoring sanctuary to Mount Scarab. If Cassius can make good on the antidote, that's our way up. All right, thank you. But we're gonna leave the episode off here, guys. Well, we made good progress. You know, we helped Scooter with his memorial and doing the jumps and collecting all his mags and all that good stuff. And then we did two chapters and got through it really quick. So, I will catch you all here next time, everybody, on Let's Play Borderlands 2. If you liked today's episode, go give it a thumbs up. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And join the Curly Crew, and I will catch you all here next time, everyone. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.